Hello guys, time for scary videos featuring a possible energy spirit caught on a graveyard and some interesting shadow apparitions that were captured in old high school. And please leave a frosty like for me if you can. Natalia has sent the following video, which she had found, posted by user Sandra Fulton Hamilton John. She uploaded it on her profile and was quite scared to say the least. The post reads as follows. This video is of our deaf friend Jack talking on video chat to his girlfriend. This is proof that spirits do exist. We had paranormal activities come to the house. We had it analyzed and it is very creepy. The house and everything around it in that particular area of Lumberton has a lot of supernatural activity going on around it. Sounds intriguing. Let's take a look. shadow figure is passing by behind Jack's shoulders in an inhumane speed and he obviously didn't notice it at the time. I have seen several of these fast moving incidents. I have seen several of these fast moving shadow incidents and have to say that many of them seem legit. Of course these events could still be staged but this particular one I would give the benefit of the doubt. How about you? A really unsettling video. Now we want to take a look at the video from channel Out and About, who was visiting a supposedly haunted graveyard one evening. He states that he went there before with a couple of his team members and apparently caught some clear evidence for paranormal forces. Tonight he attempts to contact the spirits on his own and in his opinion it was one of the scariest nights that he had ever experienced. It was filmed on Halloween. And as we all know, the gates to the spirit realm are more open than ever on that date. Let's take a look. Okay, two meter up. Start. See what we can get. Okay, two meter. Is on. All right. Do you remember me at all? If, if you remember me. Make that light light up a little more. Last time we were here, this is you said this is a tree that you were hung on. But no, there's nothing there. We'll go back to this bird bath here. After settling in at the scene and trying out his K2 meter, he starts to talk with the other side directly. He pulls out his phone with the Necrophonic app. I'm by myself. Want to come talk to me? Oh, there we go. Look at that. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Do you remember me? Say yes. Yep. Dan, there you go. Very good. He talks to the spirits for several minutes before addressing his viewers at home again. And after finishing a thought, his camera captures something strange in the distance that wasn't there before. And don't forget, nobody else was there either. And it's actually creeping me out quite a bit being here alone. So. I'm gonna leave here pretty soon. Watching that thing light up. We can clearly make out a bright object that is standing in the distance, and it appeared out of thin air. The uploader didn't notice it when filming, so maybe it wasn't visible to the human eye. If we take a closer look at it, it almost appears illuminated. and several of these energy apparitions have been captured over the last years. Could it be a spirit that was manifesting at the time? How mysterious.
The following update was sent to me by Enrique, and we will take another look at the case of Abiyud Alvarez, who is being haunted by a lady spirit. So it seems at least, he could capture it the other night in the mirror, which is the reason why he puts up his camcorder once more in front of the mirror, but this time for several hours while he has left his place to show everybody that there is actually paranormal events unfolding and there's quite a lot of terrifying stuff happening, if you ask me. Let's take a look. Terrifying, right? But there was something else on screen that was barely visible and just there for a couple of frames. Take a close look. It would appear that a lady is visible just for a split second before the camcorder falls down. Make of it what you want, but maybe this is just more proof that something else is going on here than what some believe to be just a hoax. What's your opinion? Nightmarish. Next has been sent in by Rick, and it was found in the ghost section of Reddit. Flick has uploaded the following, and was quite terrified. It was said that he was taking a couple of pictures of himself in his room, when in one of them, there appeared a pretty creepy looking thing in the window behind him. It wasn't seen again after this image, so he hoped that maybe Reddit could help him. Is it paradoia, or was something looking in? Hard to say if it was just visible in one image. It begs the question, doesn't it? Megan Noel, Frank B, Steve McMahon, Daniel Kronger, Kaidai, Mask Doll, Pori Marjam, Josef Maurer, Shay Hitchcock, Tamika Lockley, Kath Orange. Now we follow Ogden Paranormal, 
who on their brand new paranormal investigation ventured to the supposedly haunted Goldfield High School. It is located in Nevada and was one of the crew's favorite to-go places on their bucket list. It was built in 1907, during the height of the area's gold rush, and it was the largest and best high school at the time in Nevada. Unfortunately, in 1923, a moonshine distillery in Goldfield caused the whole town to burn to the ground, except the Goldfield High School and the Goldfield Hotel. The school closed officially in 1952 and has been unoccupied since then. And while the team was setting up shop that night in the abandoned location, one of Ogden Paranormal's newest members, Eric, had a pretty strange encounter on the upper floor. That was weird. I was walking this way, and he was behind me, and then he just like, when it was just like, whoa. And I don't think he said whoa or something like that, and it was just kind of like, almost like when he was gonna like stumble, and he just eventually sat down. You good, E? I think I need, I need some air, dude. Yeah, yeah let's get you outside, bro. Outside. I feel so sick right now. We're, we're trying to figure out where to put the floodlights for the static cam on the third floor. Um, trying to get the angle that Jocelyn was feeling up there. As we're walking around up there, um, about on the side of the railing, walking towards the stairs, felt like I got punched in my stomach. It like knocked everything out of me, man, and I feel so sick right now. Did you like physically feel the punch? Yeah. <laughs> That's something I can't explain. Sounds like the team was off to a good start. After Eric recovers, the team finally begins their investigation. And at that time, one of the camcorders that was set up upstairs, unoccupied, captures the following EVP. I was like, right. Like right here, man. Okay. Did you hear that? Yeah, was that you? No, that was down there. No, it's not right here, man. Okay. Did you hear that? Yeah, was that you? No, right here, man. Okay. Did you hear that? Yeah, was that you? No. A few moments later, when reviewing the footage of their thermal camera, there might have been something peeking at them that some say could be the spirit of a child. The girl goes are scarier than guys. That's what I'm, I'm just scared of seeing a shadow. Dude. <laughs> Girl ghosts are scarier than guy ghosts for some reason. That's what I'm. The team then asks several questions that they hope the spirit world would answer them while the team was taking seats in the classroom. And this is when just in front of that room, there is an interesting shadow being captured close to the trigger objects that had been placed there. It certainly is very faint, but you can definitely see something passing by really fast. Was it possibly a shadow bee that was moving around? Let me know what you think about this investigation. And give their channel a watch, it's really worth it. Thank you guys for watching.